Okay, today we are going to work on move versus glide. So we're in Scratch and we're just going to click on Create. And I want to show you the difference between some of our motion blocks. So I'm just going to pull over a simple when the green flag is clicked block and a when the space key is pressed block. Now if I program my cat to move st 10 steps when the green flag is clicked, he will move 10 spaces on the x-axis. Remember we talked about this in an earlier video that our movement is along the x-axis and it's forward in this direction. If we want to move in the opposite direction, we would put a negative in front of the 10, make it move backwards 10 spaces. Now, if we want our character to look like he's moving from one location to another, one way to use, do that is use the glide block. So when the space key is pressed, he will glide from the point that he is at now. Let's have him glide to 140, 140. So now if I press the space key, he will glide to a different part of the screen. Now anytime you do something like this where you want to move your character to a different location on the screen, you want it to look like he's moving to that location, I would always use a block to give him a starting point. So say you want him to start in the center of the screen. That way you can, have, you can click on him Press the space bar and now he'll glide to where you want to go, but anytime you click on him, he'll go back to his starting point. It's always good to do something like that. Oftentimes you can program this with when the green flag is clicked and that'll make a lot of sense for you. So that's just a quick tutorial on using a glide block instead of using a move block.